succulents friends welcome to my channel the way to succulents uh, and uh, finally my covid is negative and i'm uh, full of energy and today i would like to show you another video about uh, how to compose drainies and this time i'm using piking peanuts last video i shared about uh, i use the pine coins uh, from my yard uh, but there is a limitation because you see how many pine coins uh, we can collect uh, from our yard for peanuts uh, packing peanuts you can always buy them so it will be much handier why we want to use these uh, just imagine succulents they grow in the natural their root uh, is really really shallow even agaves, they have like strong roots. They still grow like along the slope, stone hill, cliff. And then the strong leaves for agaves is mainly help them to, to stable themselves, to grow there. Of course, it can serve as other function like absorb nutrition, water as well. The point is, uh, no matter what, uh, their roots are now very, very deep in the soil. And you can imagine, like, uh, if it's with a lot of soil on the top of the roots, and after rain in a hot day, and it's not breathable for the roots as well, they hate it. So that's why I say you don't need a lot of soil for your succulents, uh, really. Some types, uh, maybe for example, leaf sops, uh, they have the tap roots uh, quite long and it just uh, go vertical down. Yes, uh, different uh, plants, you have a different solution. But now I would like to show you use these piking peanuts. Uh, I, put, I put them at the bottom of this hanging basket. Uh, and then uh, now I will just uh, add the, the mixed soil see I have on the top of these piking peanuts uh, to hold them. Of course, there is the disadvantage about these uh, piking peanuts too. For example, they are super light and not like the pine coins. Uh, they actually, the pine coins uh, are kind of like uh, interlock with each other. And uh, even when it's uh, like uh, tilting, it's not like uh, the piking peanuts. Uh, one day I find uh, like, eh, this planter tilt. Uh, and then the, it's slippery too, it's not like a pine coins uh, and then the, it just uh, all the thing go out it's kind of a drama and disaster that's the disadvantage about it and I add some soil into it uh, like uh, I will show you closer about my soil now have a look, you see how gritty it is it's important to make it a great tea and then this planter is not super heavy because i put a good portion of packing peanuts another region i wanted it you see for example this actually area is not in the best condition because it went dormant in the winter time and now it's the growing season for them i will put that into the soil and let it lie down. It doesn't matter, stand up or lie down as long as the roots is buried in. And I put, I put another one. Uh, and uh, see, this is a long stem one. I put a third of it into the soil and leave the other portion out. And then along the stem, there will grow the new growth. That will be amazing. And this guy too, you see the stem is so long. I would just bury a portion of it, like a third or a half. And then I will have more plants grow along the stem. This actually was the mother plant. What happened that you saw the, the plants I placed in. They were all the branch of this guy and then after a certain time, you know, it just uh, fall off. I will still put the mother roots back in and then along the, the mother stem, it will just uh, grow more babies, new growth. Uh, wait a second, I also had some leaves. Oh yeah, I also had uh, some leaves that I took off before. Now, I will just uh, put the leaves uh, back in. 
just put these leaves back into the soil and then let them propagate. So the plant are will quite full with uh, all of them. Keep going. Because it's a trilling basket, uh, so what else I would put in is a donkey's tail. That's actually the one originally in this plant. Uh, I just uh, repot it uh, because, uh, like I say, every two years I do want to change the soil, repot them, so give them a better environment. Uh, to tell the truth, uh, at the very beginning when I started to grow succulents, uh, I didn't. Uh, give them a really good environment uh, such as uh, a good drainage uh, soil mix uh, and now, now is the time I learn and I just uh, want to do it uh, I kill a lot of my succulents or maybe they are still alive but they are not in the best condition we learn from our mistake uh, and I found some more leaves uh, from this ashy area so I will just uh, put them in and also the donkey's tail around the, the altar of the, this planter. So eventually the donkey's tail, they will come with the new babies, new girls, and then they will give me a treating down the planter. It will look quite nice. Okay, I think I'm good. And uh, what next is not done yet. I will add a layer on top and you don't need to worry like oh in that situation would they have the chance to fall photosynthesis yes they do adding a thin layer not a thick 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 layer so now you can have a look it look it's much lighter and that is uh, it doesn't look much different but i know the trick uh for the first uh, maybe Two weeks I wouldn't have water it I would just let it sit like the, the plant to get used to the new soil and then grow it thank you for watching my video and hope you like it if you do please give us a thumb up and uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel do it please and welcome to share with uh, whoever love plants bye for now